Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 45. Today we're going to look at modifying the WPTT ICS uh, calendar feeds plugin that we built a couple episodes ago so that it accepts author parameters and that way you can get a feed of posts only from a specific author. Before we do that, I'd like to encourage you to go to YouTube uh, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. You're actually going to get the tutorials typically four or five days early in video form only because I put them up on YouTube uh, as soon as I record them. So this is where we're starting today. You can see that I've got four posts. I've got two defined for author role and two defined for admin role or for the administrator. Our goal today will be to build a feed so that our author role can get only posts associated with the author role. There's a few things to look at to start with. The first thing is we're going to use the login name for this. We could also use the user ID, which you see up in the URL. In this case, it's user ID 3. But that's a lot harder to find for users. So we're going to tell them just to use their username. And we're just going to be able to put those posts directly onto our calendar. If you don't have the plugin, you can find it on GitHub already. Uh, and there'll be a link in the show notes for that. So here's our plugin code. What it did before, if you missed it, is we added a new feed called WPTT ICS feeds. That means if you type in yoursite.com slash question mark WPTT ICS feeds, you would get a feed of all the posts on your site. Now it also be the future posts, so things that are scheduled. And add feed called the function generate feed. You can see generate feed set a few uh, arguments here. Uh, publish in future so we get everything. We're not getting drafts. Um, and then it just built a loop and passed it into the easy peasy ICS uh, class that we also included. You can see we're calling it here and then we render it out uh, at the end. Today, like I said, our goal is to make it so that if we have an author defined in our URL, we can have uh, it filter only by author. So the first thing we want to do is actually grab our author code. Let's indent that properly because that'll bug me. So what this does, so this assumes that we're going to have uh, an author parameter of WPTT author. And if it is set, it's going to take our args our arguments that we pass into WP query, and they are equal to a custom, new custom function called filter by author. Remember, this tells us to look inside the current class that we're in. And it's called filter by author, which takes two parameters. The first one is our arguments, or the arguments we have defined on line 86 uh, for WP query. And the second one is our get parameter of WPTT author. Now we don't have that function yet, so let's grab it. So now we've grabbed our function, and what it does is it takes two arguments. It takes the uh, WP query arguments we had and the nice name. Like I said, we're using nice name uh, because that's way easier for a user to find. We don't want to have, uh, yeah, we just don't want to make it hard for them. That'd be silly. And the first thing we're going to do is build an author arguments array on line 134. And we are using the author name WP query parameter. And just to make sure everything's safe, we're calling escape attribute on nice name. We never trust user input. That's the first three rules of security. Never trust user input, never trust user input, and never trust user input. So we are filtering it right here to make sure that it is safe. Um, and then we are updating our arguments. We're using a PHP function called array merge. And what that does is it just takes two arrays and sticks them together. And that's it. And then we're going to return our updated arguments. So that means that back up top here, remember we made our args variable equal to this function, and we returned our updated arguments. That means that the args variable is now equal to our updated arguments. Now we're not actually done yet. WordPress is not going to know about our new um, query variable called WPTT author, unless we actually let it know about it. If we were to type in our URL now, 
which would look something like and it's the feed equals WPTT ICS feeds and author oh WPTT author remember our nice name was author role author role if we typed in that what we'd actually get back is an error is W or WordPress doesn't know about our new query parameter so let's save and the next thing we need to do is tell it about our query parameter and we need to do that by adding it we'll add it up here now currently we're only calling this function we actually need to add the proper filter right now WordPress isn't going to even call this function at all so let's grab our proper filter And there it is on line 48. We're calling the filter query vars and we're telling it to call the function add user query var. And on line 76, we can see that add user query var. And the QV parameter that I'm passing there is the existing array of query arguments. That's all it is. And all we need to do is add our new item to it. So our item is called WPTT author and the brackets there. Uh, just tell the code to add this to the current array and then we return it. So it's a very simple process and we can save that. And now let's grab our calendar. And so I already have a feed here. I'll get info and it's WP. You can see it's WPTT ICS feeds and WPTT author. If we jump back to our WordPress install on our post, you can see we have two. We have one for the 20th and one for the 15th. So the 20th should be scheduled. It's before or it's in the future from today. We're recording on the 17th of June. And the 15th should be behind us. So it should be published. And we also have two posts in here by the admins. Those shouldn't show up at all right now. So let's refresh our calendar feed. I'm going to hit OK. And then the refresh is Shift Command R, actually. You can see it updating. And we have the two posts. You can see I have the 20th and the 15th. So let's just double check this again. I'll get info. And we can double check this by just deleting it and getting a bare feed. So this should return all four of our posts because um, it's not discriminating by author. And there we go. It's done that. So again, to make it discriminate by an author, We'd add and WPTT author equals author role and author role in this case is the nice name of the user. And we had our two posts disappear again. So that's how we add a query variable uh, to WordPress. And that's how we filter our calendar feeds so that we're only getting them by authors. Thanks for watching.